Hi, my name is Matt and in this video I will shed some light on how to optimize the test data repository using the machine learning classification in the INT4 suite. With the INT4 robotic crawler, we can massively save real messages coming from the external partners and systems as our test cases. We can save them selectively, or we can decide that we want to have the whole amount of data available in the form of the test cases. Then, with the test cases analysis, we can validate the test data coverage to ensure that we have all the test cases available for all the required business scenarios. Of course, even if you know that you have the test data for all of your partners, you don't need all of those messages because most of these messages will be very similar to each other. It means that there is no point in validating the same message 2000 times. Because if you have an error in one of those specific variants, you would need to dig through all 2000 test cases. The tricky question is, how can we remove that duplication? So how can we avoid retesting the same defect over and over again by just running the big volume of data? And at the same time, how can we ensure that we are still testing what we need to test without limiting the variability of data and without losing the coverage of our test cases? We are solving this with int for suite by applying the latent Dirichlet allocation, in short, the LDA algorithm. The LDA algorithm is a generative statistical model that tries to explain the observations of the test cases that you have. In our case, the test data based on which the LDA algorithm works are the real messages sent by the connected applications. So the XML, JSON, EDFACT, X12 messages, you name it. The algorithm first checks the message and creates groups of topic representing different set of messages. The LDA algorithm makes sure that you will get representations of the message from each of the group and topic. It means that if out of your thousand messages, you have five groups with 500, 200, 270 and 30 messages, you can be sure that during sampling, all groups will be represented so that there is no risk that the group with the smaller number of messages will be somehow skipped. If you think of a real process, imagine that you have hundreds of EDI partners and 10 of them are sending you 90% of all the messages. Such sampling with LDA can assure us that we will limit the number of test data so that we don't have to test 1,000 examples of the same message, but at the same time, it will ensure that we will have the sample messages from all the partners, not only from the 10 partners who send the biggest volume of messages. Let's see how the application for the machine learning topics look like. We can have multiple machine learning topics. In each of these, we can define what should be my target number of test cases keeping the same representation with the LDL sampling. We can define the percentage of those unfit test cases and its threshold. Then you can provide a number of topics. And if you are a data scientist, you can deep dive into PAL parameters and you can also experiment with them. Then you have the option to define the folders with test cases based on which the sampling will be done. In our example, we have chosen test folder with 4,050 source test cases. As a target number of test cases, we defined 405 test cases, so only 10% of all test cases. You also have the option to exclude some data from the messages. For example, you can exclude dates and document numbers from the EDI files, as these are irrelevant to the sampling. By the same, you can focus on the data that you need the most. Once the sampling is done, you have the results with the groups defined, the original number of test cases, and the number of test cases after the sampling on the right-hand side. You can see that each of 10 groups has around 40 test cases available after the sampling. From here, you can copy your test cases to the folder used later for testing. 
to prove that test cases after the LDA sampling represent the same groups as we had originally, we can open the test cases analysis. We defined two analyses, one for the source folder with 4000 messages and one for the target folder after the sampling. We can run a simple comparison of those analyses to validate the dimensions that are interested for us and to make sure that after our sampling and reducing number of messages, we still have the same representation for the dimensions that we are interested in. What is important is that both of the analyses have the same dimensions defined. The only difference for those analyses are the source of the data, before and after the sampling. We can compare those two analyses and as a result, we will see all the values that were available in the defined dimensions. In addition, we will see the comparison of the number of test cases with a given value in the original folder containing all the data and the one after the LDA sampling. Below, we can see the same comparison in a graphical form. At the first glance, we can see that all of the variants from the source folder are still available in the reduced number of test cases. To sum it up, you can save a massive number of real messages from the production using the messages sent from partners and connected applications with the INT4 robotic crawler. Then, with the LDA sampling, you can reduce the number of test cases by 90%, keeping the same full coverage of test data. And you can ensure it by comparing the dimensions of the original source of data and the one after the sampling. Thanks to this, you can execute fewer test cases and go through the test results faster at the same time, being confident that you tested all of the options. Thank you for watching.